So page 17, that's the matrix for which we need to find the determinant. Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, in my, on my slide, on my slide, uh, I chose to, well, actually, I did a few, a few ways. So first, we do the first row, decomposition. So you see, I single out my element. I crossed out the rows. And I can clearly identify my minor. Here it is. So when I write this, here's the first term of my minor decomposition, or first row of my row decomposition. When I move my cross to the next element, 4, this will be the next term in my minor decomposition. Negative, uh, sort of negative 4, that's right, because for the, this is for the, uh, this negative due to uh, the sign alteration. And the remaining bits, negative 1, 2, 7, 4, they all went into my minor. Now I move my cross to the last element. And that's the term which corresponds to the last element of my row decomposition. The smaller determinants, when you compute them, remember we multiply across this diagonal, subtract across this diagonal. And that's an easy. In fact, after some time, you will realize by doing this minor, minor decomposition for matrices of size 3 times 3, most of the job can be done from the top of your head. I mean, I do this, this many details. I mean, I'm writing this out, all of these minors, just because we do it for the first time, or nearly for the first time. Uh, when I, I am like computing this under the time stress, or in a time stress environment, I will never do that. Because this one can be computed straight away from the head. 2 times 4 is 8, take 21. We all know this negative 13. And that can be done, I mean, this can be done right by looking at this matrix. So you put your 1 here, and by looking at this minor, you can find the value straight away. It's 8, take, actually, I, I made a mistake, plus 31, plus 21. It's 29, sorry. Yes. See, I, didn't, I, I don't do it often enough, apparently. Right? <laughs> so... Uh, let's just finish this. So my, if I can maybe make the if I make the computations here, we'll be look at this. It's negative four, <laughs> negative fourteen. It's negative eighteen, and here we got plus three. Take four. It's negative one. So here we got this value. Well, we I guess I guess we can do this one. I mean, you certainly can do it because you, you have your calculators. But I think I can do it without the calculator. That's the most troubling thing, right? 4 times 18, it is, what is it? 72, yes. 72 plus 29, take 5. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. 96, I say. <laughs> uh, and that's, like, that's how you compute it. Like I said, most of the time, if you just gain some efficiency, uh, these numbers, you don't, have an, you don't even have to write them out. In principle, you can compute them straight away. Uh, well, I, I think I did also just to convince you that this row or column decomposition it doesn't depend on the choice of a row or a column. I also did the decomposition with respect to the first column. So, so I'm, I'm going to move my cross now this way, like this. Uh, the first term in my expansion, if I go first column, will be identical to this. Here it is, 1 times the same minor. But now when I, my cross goes down, negative 1, the next term will be like so, right? The first here, uh, first row, 4, 5, negative 3, and 4. And when I single out the last element of my column, that's what it will be. Now, if I do the arithmetic, look at this. Well, 129, which is the same as in here. Uh, here we have 1, and we have... I say it's 31, 16 plus 15, that's 31. And it's 14 plus 10, I'm oh, sorry, 14 take 10, it's, no, no, 28 take 10, 18, yes. Uh, well, if you take these numbers together, uh, they're supposed to give you the same value, 96. Is that right? 29 plus 31, it's easy, it's 60. And yes, it is actually 96. 
Well, in fact, on my slide here, I also have a decomposition. I don't remember which one. You know, I just open it because I just it's enough of computations. Just open it. I'll tell you which row is that. There's another way to compute this. I'm, I'm presenting another way. It's negative four two three, negative four two three. Ah, it's it's a second column. You see, if you use the second column. Is this, if you use this column, then this 4 will come with a negative. That's why you have negative 4 here. Remember, you, you have to do the sign alterations, and the indices here, 1, 2, which is odd number, if you sum them. Uh, 2 with plus, and 3 with minus, negative 3 with minus. So, you see this, this line, this line of computations, it corresponds to the column decomposition for the second column. Well, if you do the arithmetic here, I didn't do that. It should be 96 as well.